guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today as we have another fabulous sublimation tutorial. Now, if you like sublimation tutorials, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That way you're always notified of our latest and greatest videos. But today, guys, I am showing you in Silhouette Studio how to set up your very own custom photo tumblers. All right, guys, so here we are in Silhouette Studio, and I have, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I, I know I say this all the time, one of my favorite tutorials, but guys, really, this one takes the cake for, I would at least say, my most recent tutorials because anytime that I get to mix in photos of my kids, you know, I just, I get all weepy and they're growing up and blah, 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 all that stuff. So I know you guys will feel it too, but even though I'm using photos of my kids, just know that you can use any photos. This project is great for wedding photos, you know, family photos, whether it's birthday photos. I mean, who doesn't love photos? I mean, there are a ton of gift ideas that revolve around the idea of photos. And this one is just really, really awesome. Okay. I mean, there are designs on Creative Fabrica for seniors, for grandmas, for, you know, mothers and, and dads and just all around really awesome ideas. So I just can't, I feel like I can't stress that enough because, you know, I, I just, I love them. I love photo projects and I know you guys will too. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a sublimation craft today, but you're going to be blown away by how easy this is. I mean, super easy. So we are taking a template for a 20 ounce skinny tumbler sublimation, like I said, and all we're going to do is add our photos. Well, and an SVG, we are adding an SVG, but we are going to create truly a masterpiece. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Um, I am going to, instead of going to file and merge, like I usually do, I'm going to use the drag and drop method because I have quite a bit of items to bring in and it just makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to open a file explorer menu. Now I already have everything downloaded. All right. I grabbed my photos from Facebook. I downloaded my files from creative Fabrica Unzipped them if they needed unzipped. Okay. So I'm just going to open that file explorer window. And I have saved everything right here in my downloads folder. So those are my photos. Okay. Super exciting. I know. Um, but we're going to start with, you know what? I'm lying. Let's go ahead and start with the photos. So I tried to get photos of each kid because obviously, I mean, moms don't have favorites, right? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes, some days I definitely feel like I have favorites. <laughs> um, these are rather large, so we can go ahead and start to size them down as we bring them in because to drag and drop, you don't want to drag and drop them on top of each other. And then once I have all my photos, I'm going to bring in, this is my PNG for the um, Tumblr sublimation design. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that in. And obviously it came in rather large, so I'm going to size it down also. I know that I only want this about 8.25 inches high. So that is sized down appropriately. And then last but not least, I'm going to drag and drop my SVG file. So my SVG file came in really, really big. Um, I really just want, I want this color version here and I can delete everything else. So I'm just gonna hold down my shift key grab everything else and hit delete. I don't want to accidentally delete the um, photos underneath. So it's easier to do that than to do the drag and drop. So let's zoom back in and let's go ahead and talk about what we have here. Now, the reason I went and brought my photos in first is that way they are behind my Tumblr image here. And Let's just go ahead and select everything. We're going to change our line color to transparent. Now I may change my colors here. I have a feeling that going with solid black will yield me the best results as far as being able to see it on my Tumblr. Um, but I thought I would start with the color and just see how I like it. But now I can go ahead and start sizing and arranging my photos. So I can just drag it behind and then size it down. And I know that these look really small, but they're actually going to be a decent size on our Tumblr. Okay. And of course you don't have to stay zoomed out. 
you can zoom in and take a look and you can turn them to get the best orientation. But I just want to fit each square with a different photo. So as I'm sizing these down, I'm just repositioning them. But let's take a look at what happens with the layers. Do you see this gray area right here? That's actually the top of this photo. So sometimes you may need to select another photo and just go ahead and like send to back or something like that. Something that is going to, um, you know, yield the results that you want. And you want to make sure that each photo is just a little bit larger than the frame size because um, you don't want to have any, not that you will see them tremendously, but you don't want to have any, you know, crazy white borders going on. So when I'm arranging this, I'm just trying to keep in mind, number one, I want each kid to be spaced out. Okay. Because, you know, not that I couldn't have them all, you know, on one side, but just it, it's better in my opinion to have it, you know, if you're, if you have multiple children that you are positioning, you know, to go ahead and have them in, you know, equal representation. So like I have one boy here and here, another boy here and here, and then my daughter, and then of course one from many, many moons ago of them together. Okay. So, but I've just positioned them all. I've sized them down. You've watched everything that I've done. There's literally nothing to it other than that. And that makes it super easy because if you were offering these as a personalized item for gifts or to sell, I mean, literally in less than five minutes, you can take all these photos, slide them in here, and then you're just going to grab these and you can just right click and group. And it's a done deal. And then if you want to add an SVG, Let's go ahead and see how this looks in color. I might be uh, bragging on myself a little bit here. You know, when we get done with this, I need somebody to send a screenshot of this to my husband because, you know, I'm just saying the man does not understand personalized gifts. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. So I do think I'm going to do it in black and I'm just going to overlay that over the heart. There we go. That's cute, right? And I like things that you can do like this because... I can put any type of SVG there. So, you know, if I, if this is a Mr. and Mrs. because it's a wedding, if this is a grandma gift, maybe a neighbor gift, maybe a stranger gift, you know what I mean? Like just any, any type of SVG or sentiment can go right here in the middle. And that's literally it. I mean, that is what I'm going to do. Now, of course, to print this for sublimation, I want to set up my page, right? My page setup panel. I'm going to size my media to letter size because I'm just printing on a letter size sheet of paper. Go ahead and I can check my measurements. Really, you're looking at 8.2 by 9.3. That should be the size of your template. And most of them are sized that for regular skinny tumblers. And then, you know, I go ahead and flip my design. Now just remember that you're not going to want to have it mirrored in the software and mirror at the printer. I know I talk about this all the time with you guys, but it's always a good reminder because if you're following along with me, you may mirror it here and forget that your printer is going to mirror it again. But just remember only mirror once, whether it's in the software or the printer, and um, always make sure that you have your print border turned on. Because, okay, this is a perfect example. See how my print border is smaller? That is because I have this set up to a label printer, okay? So what I would do if I went to file and print, and it's going to show me a print preview, and that's, that's all that would print on that page. So I'm going to go ahead and go to print, but then I'm going to select my Sawgrass printer and hit apply, and then I'm going to hit cancel and go all the way back. Now that print border updates. So let's recenter and I'm just going to print again. You can also hit control P on your keyboard and there is my print preview. So now I can print, go ahead and print to my sawgrass and put this on my tumbler. So I'm really happy with those results. And you're talking about even just for the purposes of recording the video, I mean, about 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes, I had this whole thing done and that involved importing all of those photos. So really quick, really easy, 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 easy. And I'm telling you guys, when you're thinking about things that you can market to your customers, you know, maybe 
standard designs aren't working, maybe you're looking for an uptick in sales for the holiday season, Mother's Day, I'm telling you, if you market to moms, I feel like, number one, everybody has a mom, right? Number two, a lot of people have a wife or a lot of people will buy these for themselves. I think that moms and dads and grandmas are going to be your one of your biggest markets for personalized gifts like this. You take a mom or you take your grandma, you put pictures of the kids, plus a little, you know, ribbon of best mom ever, best grandma ever. And it is just a win-win. So I really urge you to check out all the different designs, but choosing one like this that can be custom is super, super amazing. Awesome. Now, I also have another great marketing tip coming for you is going to involve creating even better mock-ups because how are you going to take this design and market it without having to make a million cups? Am I right? So make sure you have subscribed and turn on notifications for the YouTube channel because that video will be coming up in the very, very, very near future. So, but for now, guys, let's go ahead and wrap it up. So guys, how did you feel about learning how to set up your very own personalized custom photo tumblers for sublimation? Now, those templates make it so super easy and a lot of the ones that you can add your own files to, those SVG files, makes it super easy to personalize. Now, I use an SVG file, but don't forget you can add names and all kinds of things. They're very, very versatile, and I know if you guys give them a chance, you will enjoy them as well. Not to mention they are super great sellers because there's a huge market for personalized photo products, and this is one more that you definitely want to add to your list. So I am going to wrap it up for today, guys, but don't forget if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. I love hearing from you guys and make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend. That way we can keep growing the channel and keep bringing you more awesome videos. But I appreciate you stopping by today, guys. I appreciate you just all the support you show for the channel and we'll see you again next time.